Hello and welcome. Today we'll be showing you how to install our Ultimate Gameplay Camera plugin for Unreal Engine versions 5.5 and above, which comes with some new additions which we'll showcase later on. The first thing you want to do is enable the Ultimate Gameplay Camera plugin. This will restart your editor. If you want to access the plugin files either to compare our results with yours or see how we set up our characters, you can do so by enabling Show Engine and Plugin Content and then head into our Ultimate Gameplay Camera folder. What we'll do now is create a Blueprints class inheriting from our Player Camera Manager. You also need the Player Controller for this to work. In your game mode class, make sure that the player controller uses the new one we just created. And in the player controller, select the player manager class that we have just created. You want to go to the look input associated to your gamepad and add the UGC camera to any rate modifier. In the class settings of your character, you want to implement an interface it's called UGC Pound Interface. This will give you two functions get rotation inputs and get movement input, to which we'll plug your input values. So now you'll notice that the yaw follow modifier and the pitch follow modifier are both working. The pitch constraints modifier should also be working correctly. Next, you want to remove the default camera boon from your character class and replace it with our new UGC Spring Amp component. This is the new addition of this update, because now the new UGC Spring Amp component, component is the one that handles all of the collisions. Make sure that do collision test is enabled. Make sure to reset the camera transform Now you'll notice that the collisions are pretty smooth, unlike the default spring arm component. For our old users, this effectively deprecates the old collision modifier. 
Everything is now handled by the new spring arm component, which reduces a lot of bugs, especially when it puts the same new characters. Next, you want to add the dithering function to your character material so that the character disappears when the camera overlaps with it. The capsule component should be in ignoring the camera channel while the mesh should overlap with it. You can do the same thing with any material in the world. You have two dithering functions you can use, one for dithering a whole mesh and one for dithering a circular hole inside of the mesh. And the mesh has to be overlapping with the camera collision channel. Next, we'll show you how to use player camera animations. And that's all you need to have a smooth looking camera animation. If you want to create a camera animation, make sure to check out our tutorial. You're going to see that the camera is going to collide with the wall during camera animations. You can fix this easily by just checking the box do collision checks. You can now see that the camera does collide with the surrounding obstacles. And that concludes our tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure to drop by the Discord server or send us an email. Thank you for watching. And thank you for your long support over the years.